tree. Then we started going through the cartridge boxes, getting weapons, bringing the cartridge boxes in. Uh, those of us that lived and fired off of our ammunition, a lot of the muskets were out of, out of commission by firing them 40 rounds. They were all gummed up and we couldn't even get a ball down anymore. And so we started cleaning them and we started bringing in muskets and started getting the cartridge boxes with ammunition in them. The fellas who weren't going to need them. And we started bringing them back with the wounded. And the breastwork was going up and we're bringing the wounded in and putting them in it for protection. We could see the Seminoles saying, pulled off to some high ground over to our left. And it looks like they were talking. We could see them on horses and we could see, see them in there. They may have been like us trying to decide what to do. We didn't want them to come back, but if they did, we wanted to be ready for them. So we were building that breastwork as fast as we could. They weren't notching the logs. They were just piling them on top of each other. And the corners and there was gaps in between. Now to me that didn't look like a lot of protection and I wasn't going to get in it. <laughs> Even if they told me to, I was going to take my chances outside. <laughs> and then we see the Seminoles, they start coming back. They're coming our way. We're going to have to fight for it again. <laughs> That's the police. <laughs> 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 <laughs>